New York City. There's people everywhere. It's filled with garbage juice. Everything's expensive. And honestly, I'm terrified of it. But that just makes me love it even more. Hey, you know what else I love? Building computers. I built one for myself, for my friends. Thanks for building the computer, Quinn. All the way back in 2015. And for my brother. Shout out to Quinn for building the PC. Thank you, mom, for letting me use the basement. I just love building computers. And I'm pretty good at it. You know, I'm gonna be in Long Island for this Thanksgiving, which is just a day trip away from the city. So this got me thinking, I wanna combine something that I'm terrified of and something that I'm familiar with. So why don't I build a PC on the subway? Why build a PC on the subway, you ask? Am I just another desperate attention seeker in dire need of your viewership? Yeah. Also, the subway is absolutely insane. At first glance, it looks like a lawless wasteland, and that's because it is. Take a look at this clip I took on the 7 train. Yeah, that's just like a moped right in the middle of everything. And if you're like me, that boggles your mind. So much like that moped, I'm gonna put myself right in the middle of that train, building an expensive and easy to break gaming PC. And if I succeed, I'm gonna give this PC to one of you guys, which by the way, stay around to the end of the video to find out how you can win it. And if I fail, I'm gonna have to leave this thing in Grand Central or Times Square. I don't know, somewhere, you know, New York E. I'm Quincy, by the way. But first, I'm still in Long Island and we begin this journey with a rough start. This is the culprit. Um, shout out Costco because I actually sent this to the wrong address and when I told them, they just refunded it. I got this Jackery thing to power the computer on the subway for at least like half an hour. So I put my computer parts, monitor and camera gear away and went to bed to prepare for my big day. Do we just hit uh, traffic? I don't really have a plan for like a specific subway line that we're gonna be doing this on. So we're kind of just heading into the city and winging it. So the roof racks are causing a problem. We didn't know where to put it. So he's gonna try and, he's gonna put it here? Uh, like I said, I have no plan. We're just gonna go find a subway. Where do you think we should go, cameraman? Or like, okay, we can go that way. Now, most of what Fox News will tell you about New York City and the subway is total BS. But one thing they're not joking about is the density. These subway cars are absolutely packed. And as I started to get deeper into the subway system, I started to freak out. Is it too late to back out because I'm freaking out? Oh, I'm liking that one. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm starting to think like, what if they, what if they call the bomb squad on us? I will start off simply by installing the RAM and the process. Wow, this is way harder than I thought it was going to be. Oh sh! They just said it's the last stop. Here, give me a hand. Get those bags off. Just get off. Get off. Uh, that was the last stop, um, so we just had to boogie off. As it turns out, we didn't have to get off the train because it would have just gone in the other direction, but I'm glad we did because we met our first of many friends we'd make today. What's your name, by the way? Glenn is Schneider. Glenn Schneider. I'm Quincy. Nice to meet Hi, you. Quincy. Good to meet you. Okay. In this suitcase is an entire computer, except it's all the separate parts, and I'm trying okay. to assemble it on the subway. Hmm, interesting. Yes. When you're done with this, can I have this computer? I will give it to you if you can prove that you're already subscribed to my YouTube channel. If I'm already, already so the whole deal here is that I, I do want to give it away to one of my subscribers at the end of the video. And you're looking for someone who's already a subscriber to really pay it forward as opposed exactly. to somebody new who's doing it for the purposes. You're of, a smart guy, you get it. Yeah. Couldn't have said it better myself. Anyways, it seemed like Glenn had a gift for me. So something that I do to people that I meet for the first time, uh -huh. um, and I also do for people's birthdays. Deal. Two dollar bill. Two dollar bill. Right on, man, that's awesome. I thought he was gonna show me his penis. Though off camera, he did tell me he thought we were making a porno. Anyways, back to the matter at hand. We're gonna take the processor 
and we're gonna put it right into the socket. In order to build a computer, you have to understand what every part does and how they go together. And like every PC build, we're starting off by assembling the motherboard. You can think of a processor like a brain for a computer, and the motherboard as connective tissue. One, two, three, eight. And if this looks easy, that's because it kind of is. But if I make one little mistake, say bending any one of the hundreds of fragile little pins on the processor, it's game over. Next up is installing the RAM to the motherboard. In layman's terms, RAM is where your Chrome tabs go. Oh no, I don't know how to open this. Did you have a Leatherman? I didn't bring it. Uh... Oh! This is so much harder than I thought it was going to be. I can't. And so the RAM is installed, or okay. so I thought. More on that in a bit. This build has been pretty budget, so I bought this cooler for $14. It's literally the cheapest compatible processor I could find on PCPartPicker.com. Oh, come on, look at that. The connector got in the thermal paste. You're not supposed to get thermal paste on the motherboard because it's highly conductive, but it's all over my hands now. Dude, I'm sweating bullets. <laughs> I'm totally in over my head. <laughs> Now, this is where things start to get really hard. You see, the final component of assembling the motherboard before it goes into the computer is installing the processor fan. Now, normally this wouldn't be that hard, but since the subway train is just moving all over the place, trying to get this little screw into the little screw hole and the little tab onto the motherboard is really freaking hard. I'm actually having a panic attack right now. more thermal paste on me than on the computer. And now for my favorite part, installing the assembled motherboard into the computer case. The stress is real. I'm s We're making good progress, legitimately. Okay. We've got some semblance of a computer going on here. We don't have the power supply because we have to go buy one, so we're going to have to figure that out. Oh yeah, did I mention Amazon never delivered my power supply? Yeah, we'll have to get one later. Now I'm going to get the graphics card. So this is a GTX 1070. I actually used this very graphics card and this very processor to edit the first real video on this YouTube channel, which is was fixing my project car mistake. It's quite capable despite the extreme amount of dust on it. You zoom in on that. You can think of the graphics card like the heart of the computer. It's what's responsible for generating all the frames in Minecraft or Fortnite or whatever you sick people are into. So I just want to say, I have no idea. Like, look out the window. I don't know where we are. <laughs> what do you think my heart rate is? You want to guess? It's 105. Nice and stable. Nice. So I'm just going to install the SSD and then we can get the fuck off this train. Uh, where the hell does the SSD go? Um, I think it's just going to be flip floppity in here. It's just going to be flopping around. I think you all know what a hard drive does, but in case you don't, it's where you put all your Fortnite fan art. Um, it very much smells of urine. I think I'm just going to let it dangle back here. It's an SSD. It can take a little bit of a beating. Why are you laughing? Okay, so to summarize, we've got the processor and the processor fan to keep it cool. We've got two sticks of RAM totaling 16 gigabytes, and now we've got the graphics card. And lastly, the SSD or the hard drive um, connected to the motherboard, and we'll just have to give it power later. I thought I lost this. It came back. The last thing to do from here is to get the power supply so that we can deliver electricity to all the aforementioned parts. Now, let's go to Best Buy and find the absolute cheapest power supply they have. <laughs>
Too late for that, dude. <laughs> so here's my power supply. Can you hear this? It will be more than enough for this computer and potentially upgrades down the line. It's empty now, but we're only getting closer to Manhattan. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm just, I don't, I don't want to have another situation where I break down crying again. Like you really underestimate how much the subway moves around. And with all this like fine motor movement I have to do with screwing stuff in and unplugging stuff and rerouting things, it's really challenging. It's really, really tough. Oh gosh. I'm worried people are about to start piling in, so I'm really trying to be as efficient as possible. You good? Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna try and start hooking up everything. So we'll start with the uh, graphics card. Is that going? Oh gosh. Ready? The train's getting more and more full, huh? Okay. This is some of the worst cable management I've ever done, but I'm not bothering opening the back panel right now. All right, so everything's getting power. I should have. I really should have done this earlier. But now I need to hook up all of this to the motherboard, which is basically the hardest part of any computer building process. All things considered, I haven't had a panic attack yet, so, you know, better than the last time. Okay, so we are running out of time. This train is filling up. I just gotta do a little Sunday reading. Now, in order to connect all the USB and audio ports on the case to the motherboard, you have to use these tiny itty bitty little cables and put them on these even smaller little pins. And given my current environment, that's really hard. Hey, see that guy? We'll call him Subway Giuseppe. I am, yeah. You like computers? No, I'm all right, thanks. Appreciate the offer, though. We didn't get it on camera, but see how he has his hand in his pocket? Yeah, he's holding a crack pipe. Nice guy, though. I can't see the lack of dexterity I have on this subway cart. Like, you have to wait for it to stop moving, and you have 10 seconds, and then you have to wait for the end. If you're wondering why I keep reading this little book, it's because I'm not actually sure which cables go into which pins, because I didn't want to do any prep beforehand, which I kind of regret, because this was really hard. I need, like, seven arms for this. Even if the camera operator could help, it'd still be difficult. I think we gotta get off this train. As you can see, the train was just getting way too packed, so we decided to get off and finish the job in the subway station. Oh, gosh. All oh, the, oh, the worst noise ever. Okay. The issue is that the pins are so thin that I can't get them to stick. How's it going, by the way? <laughs> Come on. So what are you getting out there? So see um, all those pins in there? Okay, all right, I got the pins on. It's like, it's like 4.45. I don't know what that guy wants. Now, believe it or not, but that was the last step. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the external battery to the computer and see if it boots up. All right, ready? Come here. Three, two, one. That's definitely something. All right, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna plug a monitor into it. All right, ready? Come on. No. No signal. Was this whole jackery not worth it? Oh, it's back on. It's restarting itself. Um. 
turned off again. It just keeps power cycling. It turns on and off. See that? I've never seen that before. That's disappointing, isn't it? If only there were some stable environment I could use to troubleshoot this issue. All right, let's try this. Now, in case you haven't noticed already, this build is extremely budget, meaning all the parts are super duper cheap and really crappy to work with. So it's hard to tell what's actually plugged in properly, especially the RAM. I could have sworn that was it. So I decided to use the age old technique of unplugging a bunch of stuff and plugging it back in one by one. New CPU installed. Corrupt. Yes! Oh. Dude, that's a success right there. Do you want to install Windows right now? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Ready? Please step aside. Look! That's Windows! Yes! Yes, dude! Oh, this is so chaotic! Uh, dude, the, the relief I felt when the computer actually booted up was like crazy. Like I was, I was, I was sitting here going like, I have no idea what I'm gonna do. This thing is gonna get dumped in Times Square. I, this should boot up this time. If it doesn't, we're kind of in deep trouble. Yes! What should I name the computer? Rat. Password is now cheese. And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a full-fledged Windows 10 computer, fresh, mostly new parts, freshly, freshly built for the first time. Ladies and gentlemen, meet Rack. Okay, if you thought that we couldn't be more prepared, my brother Roman, thank you, brought this portable hotspot. Wait, you wanna see what kind of Wi-Fi we're getting? I do not care about the new Microsoft Edge. That's pretty good, dude. Is this a success? Bro, up top, dude. Oh. No, I, uh, I just built it. On the subway. Yes. <laughs> We've been doing this since 11. <laughs> you could tell how big of a success this was because the energy all around us was just electric. Okay, before we test the performance of Rat the Gaming PC, I wanna tell you guys how you can win it. First things first, here's the rules. Note how you have to be a Patreon member in order to qualify, but don't worry. The free tier counts just as equally as all, as all the paid tiers. The only thing free members don't have access to is exclusive content, like the behind the scenes on this very video. It is very hot in here. Attention seeker in dire need of your viewership? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna announce the winner within the next couple of months on my main channel. Now pay attention, because when I do, you're gonna have 48 hours to respond on Patreon so that you can claim the PC. If you don't, someone else is gonna get it. Right, Gimbal? Mwah. Now that we've got the computer built, we're gonna head back to where this all started. Long Island. <laughs> All right, picture this. It's Thanksgiving and your family wants you to stop playing Fortnite. They want to go to the beach. Well, boy, do I have the solution for you. All you have to do is bring your computer oh, shit, to the beach with your $650 power supply. Uh, no, this is easy. All right, that's the last time that's gonna happen. All you need to do is bring your keyboard, your mouse, your Wi-Fi card, mobile hotspot. I can't even think it's so cold. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Subway PC named Rat. Remember when I said that thing about Fortnite? 
that was a joke. This is Minecraft time now. Fortnite wouldn't boot. Are you ready? Boom. Minecraft shitter. <laughs> My avatar is Barack Obama. I totally forgot about that. Dude, this computer was built in the subway of New York City. Uh, man, it is beautiful. What a day. You know, I can confidently say that the people of New York are resilient, kind, and totally indifferent to my silly shenanigans. I adore this city, and I can't wait to come back. Until next time.